In this demo, we're going to see how we can use a Raspberry Pi to create a theremin using Simulink. So what is a theremin? A theremin is an electronic musical instrument that you do not need to touch in order to create music. Here's a brief clip of the demo in action to give you an idea of what the demo does. In terms of software, you're going to need MATLAB, Simulink, and the Simulink support package for Raspberry Pi. In terms of hardware, we're going to need a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi camera board. If you do not already have the Simulink support package for Raspberry Pi, you can get to it by going to Add-ons and clicking Get Hardware Support Packages. Here is the Simulink model for our theremin. It's going to take in the video from the camera board as well as a predetermined threshold and use this data to perform green object detection. Once a green object is found in the video, the model is going to try and find the centroid of that green object. When the centroid of the object is found, the model is going to mark the centroid on the original image with red crosshairs. This makes the centroid easy to see from our video display. Additionally, when a centroid is found, it is going to enable the generate saw wave function block. What this does is it generates a sound based upon the centroid's position in the video feed. You can hear it by connecting headphones to the Raspberry Pi's headphone jack. Now let's run our model on our hardware in external mode. We're going to do this by selecting external mode up at the top. And what this is going to do is Simulink is going to generate code that's going to be run on our Raspberry Pi. But at the same time, we can change our parameters such as the image threshold real time. As you can see, as the X and Y coordinates of the centroid move throughout the video frame, the sound being emitted by the Raspberry Pi changes. Some things that change are the audio's frequency as well as its gain. Additionally, you can see the crosshairs tracking the green ball as it moves throughout the video frame. One thing to note is that the crosshairs might not be on the physical center of the ball. This is because the crosshairs are positioned on the centroid of the green pixels in the video frame so it might not actually be the center of the object. If you want to get creative, you can use this theremin to make your own music. Once you're satisfied with your model in external mode, you can move on to deploy it to your hardware. What this does is it generates code just as it did in external mode. However, you do not need to be connected to a computer to run the demo. This is how you can use the Simulink support package for Raspberry Pi to create a visual theremin. Thanks for watching.